Hey guys, what's happening? Thanks for tuning in, coming back and watching, all that stuff. I appreciate it. Hope your day's going well. I'm continuing my series of four videos around masking in Luminar 4. I did brush masking, I did radial masking. Today is gradient masking. Super easy, super straightforward. I'm gonna try to make this one kind of quick. Now, uh, I'm gonna just jump into this same black piece of paper. You see that I have that here. And um, first thing I wanna do is get over here to light and get into the curve tool and make it white. Same thing I've been doing in the other videos. Now a gradient mask is basically just drawing a line. So it's really good for like level horizon kind of photos. In other words, like landscapes is kind of a natural uh, place to use this. And I typically use it on layers, just like I do radial mask. You can use it on filters or tools, but again, it's just kind of my thing to kind of do it on layers. Anyway, um, you just come over here, you click gradient mask. And what a gradient mask does is it says here, click and drag to draw gradient. So you can just click anywhere and then start dragging. And it draws a gradient. Remember, white reveals black conceals. So um, I have a black paper and I want to paint white onto it. So I drag the gradient from the top down. So that means I'm dragging uh, or I'm drawing the gradient for the top of the photo, which means my edits will be revealed in the top of the photo. So the way this works is you have a center line here and you can move that around. You can also rotate it. If you don't have a perfectly flat horizon, um, you know, you can rotate if you need to. Um, you can grab this to expand or contract the gradient zone. And so how this works is when you apply it like that, um, above this top line, everything that's solid white here will get 100%. It'll get the full effect of whatever edits you're doing. Between that top line and the center line, you get a gradient. Um, so it starts to decrease as you get to the center line. And then from center line to bottom line, it continues to decrease until you get to that bottom line, as you can see there. And below that, it becomes black, which is no adjustment at all. So you can draw a gradient and then adjust it uh, both in terms of its leveling um, and its size uh, and also its gradient zone. So very simple. You can also, um, if you wanted, you, as I said, you can rotate that. You can flip it around if you would like to. Um, a quick way to do a flip is just to grab that top one and just drag it to the bottom and you're basically just inverting it as you can see here. And I'll stop doing that because it's probably kind of annoying. Um, but that's all it is. It's a gradient uh, filter or gradient mask. Super easy. Let me grab a photo and I'll show you how I use it. Okay, so here's a raw file I shot in Oregon a number of years ago. I'm going to go add a new layer. I'm going to say plus add new adjustment layer. And I'm going to go edit mask. I'm going to click gradient and I'm going to drag it from here down. And all I'm doing is creating um, a gradient that's pretty much aligned with the horizon. Now you will notice it's not totally flat because this big rock is in the way. That's okay for now. Just uh, follow along here. So I've put my adjustable gradient, as you can see over here. Remember, white reveals black conceals. So white is the top half of the photo. That's where my edits or changes that I make with the sliders are gonna be revealed or visible. So let's go make a few and see what it looks like. And I'm kind of winging this in terms of the edits. So it may not be beautiful, but that's okay. Um, I'm just gonna increase the temperature a little bit, increase the tint. Um, I'm gonna increase smart contrast. And I think I'll come to AI structure and take that down, soften it a little bit. And maybe I'll come over here to color and give it a little set saturation. Hey, I like that stuff and a little vibrance. It is a gorgeous sunset. And there you go. I just kind of, not kind of, I just added a bunch of stuff to the top half of that photo based on the gradient mask that I drew. So let me show you before and after. And um, if you can see the before and after, you can kind of see that. Um, so not a massive change. It was already a fairly colorful sunset. I gave it a few um, enhancements, we'll call it. Um, so like I said, you can do this with filters because each filter that has a mask, you can do this with. I tend to do it with layers because I might do something like this where I use light, AI structure, and color, and I wanted them all applied to the top of the photo. But now I'm not finished. I want to go now and mess around with the bottom of the photo. So add a new layer plus add new adjustment layer. I'm going to go ahead and um, put the mask on here while I'm at it. So edit mask, gradient mask, and then click and drag to draw a gradient. So I'm just going to click here and drag up. And so 
when I'm clicking from one section, whichever way you drag, the stuff above or below that, does that make sense, is gonna be what's revealed. So when I was creating the mask for the top, I started with a click and I drug down, so that's making everything above it visible. When I'm trying to make edits for the bottom, I start with a click and drag up, and that's telling it everything below will be visible. You can see over here, remember white reveals, black conceals, so the white is on the bottom, and we're good. Now, keep in mind, this is also like the radial mask in that once I say done, my mask is set, and the only way to edit it is to go back and get a brush and brush in or out um, some of the edits. So, I'm on the bottom of the photo. I'm gonna go to AI structure. Let's say I wanna make that sand and rock and that log there a little crunchier, so I'm gonna do that. There we go, that's kinda crunchy, maybe a little too much, but we're just doing it for visibility purposes. AI Enhance, let's say I wanna brighten it a little bit as well. There we go. And you can see I'm kind of bleeding into this over here, which is where I recommend going in and just saying Edit Mask, get the brush, and then highlight that, and you can see, okay, that's where my mask is. Well, I'm gonna click Erase, left bracket key to shrink it a little bit, and then I'm gonna come over here and erase a little bit from that rock, because the truth is I don't wanna brighten up the rock. I like the rock kind of the way it is. Sometimes turn that off, and you can see better, so you can see that there's more over here. I kinda wish you could see through this stuff, um, but you know it is what it is, so that's close enough. You understand what I'm doing, I just wanted to point out how I do that. But that's a quick and easy gradient mask deep dive, which is uh, episode three of my four little videos about masking. As I said, I did brush masking, radial masking, this is gradient. Next one will be luminosity masking. Uh, but again, just wanted to show you what I did here. And if you compare the before and after, you can see the top, I made some edits to the colors as well as the saturation level. And on the bottom, I added some structure and some brightness via AI um, accent just to kind of brighten it up. And truthfully, I don't know if that's exactly how I would edit this photo. I just wanted to demonstrate how I use gradient masks in editing, especially in landscapes, and especially when you have a fairly flat horizon. As I said, you can go in after you've applied it with a brush mask and erase or paint, uh, you know, which would be brushing in if you wanted to kind of extend it. But that's really how I do it. It's very simple, very straightforward, but it's a very powerful tool and I love gradient masking. So I'm happy that it's in Luminar. I hope this video was helpful. And if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, please do so. I'll be back with more videos soon, including luminosity masking, as I said before. And don't hesitate to leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about it and give it a like. You know, thumbs up, let YouTube know that, you know, hey, I like Jim's stuff. That helps me a lot, and I really appreciate it. And I'll see you soon with more videos, my friends. I'm about to the end of this little masking uh, mini-series, if you will. You can catch all my videos in that playlist there. And I'll be talking to you soon, my friends. Thanks for watching, coming back, and interacting, and I'll see you real soon. Have a great day. Take care, and adios.